We're now just one step away from NVIDIA's RTX 5000 series keynote, where we'll finally get the juicy details of their latest Blackwell GPUs. Even now, as we speak, new leaks and rumors are dropping fast. It's an exciting time, so, so buckle up, put on your leather jackets, and get ready to sell whatever kidneys you have left. Hi, my name's Adam, and before we dive in, don't forget to like, subscribe to this official channel, and of course, leave a comment with your questions or feedback. I'll make sure to respond. Let's dive in. Now let's get into these last minute rumors. A lot of them have come from videocards.com, and while rumors are just that until Nvidia confirms them, some of these leaks seem pretty convincing. First leak, the MSI RTX 580 gaming trio has been caught on camera. If this is the real deal, it shows a retail box with specs indicating 16 gigabytes of GDDR7, a 256-bit memory interface. Uh, this lines up with previous rumors, and it's exciting to see these details trickling out ahead of the official announcement. Um, the box also mentions three display ports and one HDMI port. However, we're expecting DisplayPort 2.1 to be standard with the RTX 5000 series. Interestingly, the list of NVIDIA technologies on the box hasn't changed much from the RTX 40 series. There's no mention of DLSS 4, for example. We'll get into more details on that later. The design. Based on the images, the RTX 580 looks like it will feature a 2.5 slot design with three fans. It's said to utilize the GB203-400 GPU with 10,752 CUDA cores on a PCI Gen 5 interface, which we expect for the full Blackwell GPU lineup. There's even speculation that the RTX 580 may be the first first to launch. That would explain why these leaked images are popping up now. Distributors may already have them. In terms of power, we're hearing that. The RTX 90 series will have a TDP of 575 watts compared to the RTX 490's 450 watt TDP, 125 watt increase. Meanwhile, the RTX 580 is expected to have a 360 watt TDP. This is lower than previous rumors suggested, but might just reflect Nvidia's expectations for board partners. The RTX 590. Speaking of power, the RTX 590 is rumored to feature the GB202 GPU with a mind-blowing 20,760 CUDA cores, making it the first GPU with over 20,000 CUDA cores. Leaked specs suggest it could come with 32 gigabytes of GDR7 on a 512-bit bus, while the RTX 580 will have 16 gigabytes of GDDR7 on a 256-bit interface. Both cards are expected to support PCI Gen 5 and DisplayPort 2.1a. DLSS 4 rumors, perhaps the most exciting rumor, comes from leaker copy 7 Kimmy, who recently teased that DLSS 4 will debut with the RTX 5000 series. This comes after an Asus RTX 580 listing mentioning DLSS 4, NVIDIA's latest update to its AI upscaling technology. Gamers are also buzzing about NVIDIA's teased neural rendering capabilities, expected to make waves during CES 2025. If true, this could mean huge breakthroughs in graphics processing. AMD's response. Of course, Team Green isn't the only player in town. AMD is set to announce their highly anticipated Radeon RX 9000 series GPUs, and they're expected to debut FSR 4, a potential rival to DLSS with AI upscaling, frame generation, It'll be interesting to see how AMD competes, especially in the entry-level and mid-range markets, as they currently don't seem to have a high-end answer to the RTX 590. Uh, wrapping it up, that's everything we've got for now. With the keynote just around the corner, you can bet there'll be more leaks leading up to the event. I'll keep an eye on everything and break down any major updates for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe to this official channel, and of course, leave a comment with your questions or feedback. I'll make sure to